Hi, I'm Bill Fraser, Mayor of Petoskey. As the Mayor, people often ask me, what makes this town so great? I, of course, tell them about the great city services and about the hardworking crews at the city that take such great pride in their work. And I talk about the engagement and participation by our local residents. But there's a legend around these parts about an unsung hero who quietly and mysteriously looks after our town. No, it's not Batman. Is the legend of this hero true? I don't know. But let's just say if you're out to cause trouble, you should probably stay away from Petoskey. Chamber of Commerce, this is Alexis. Oh, okay. Tour bus in 10 minutes. Oh, I got this one. No, I answered the phone. Hold on, wait a minute, you did the last one. No, I think it's my turn. I don't think it's your turn. Seriously, oh, come on, let's just do rock, paper, scissors to determine this. Rock, paper, scissors. Ha! Oh, I get to go. Nikki. We're headed down Mitchell Street right now, which is part of our beautiful Gaslight Shopping District. We are on the National Historic Register for downtowns. That is a development property. That's a development property. This is gorgeous Lake Street. Look around at these amazing shops, famous McLean and Aiken booksellers. If you need coffee later, Roast and Toast is a great stop. Over 20 miles long, connecting Charlevoix to Harbor Springs with many stops in between. The Little Traverse Wheelway is a fully paved walk-bike trail that is used year-round. This is Bear River Valley Recreation Area. If you're a hiker, we highly advise you take time to explore the Bear River Loop. Welcome to Bear River Recreation Area. This is part of the North Country Scenic Trail. If you're interested in hunting Petoskey stones, this happens to be one of my favorite spots. The Bear River is loaded with Petoskey stones. Are you ladies up for a short hike? Petoskey wouldn't be complete without a trip to our brand new Northman Stadium. This fantastic athletic complex was just completed in August of this year and part of a $10 million bond that the residents in the community of Petoskey embraced. It's been years in the making and we are so excited to show you this state-of-the-art facility. Its practice field is used for multiple sports. This is going to be a fantastic asset to our community as a whole and I think you're going to enjoy seeing it up close and personal. Wait, is that Mr. Petoskey? Where? Oh, Where? Oh, way in the top. Oh, there he is.
And here we are on the shoreline of Little Traverse Bay. Bay Harbor is where we're headed next, an upscale resort community that boasts near 500 residential units, 27 holes of golf, its own downtown area, yacht club, and more. Plus, we are so excited as Great Lakes Center for the Arts is now under construction, a $25 million project. And we arranged some one-on-one -on -one time with Jill O'Neill to tell you more. <laughs> Hello, we're here at the site of the Great Lakes Center for the Arts. We have parking lot paving underway to the south and right behind me we have the foundations being dug. That will be the site of the fire. <laughs> Well, this concludes our tour of Petoskey, and we hope you've enjoyed it and have a better understanding of why we thrive as a community. Take some time to explore on your own and have a wonderful day. Hey, Nikki, how was the tour? Oh, it was great. Not eventful. Good crowd. Good? Yeah. Good crowd. Nice. I just love Petoskey. Why? It's just a thousand little things. That attention to detail and immaculate maintenance of our cities and parks. There's a sophistication here that one just doesn't expect to find in rural northern Michigan. There's a healthy mix of businesses and services. It's abundant recreation opportunities, state-of-the-art health care, first-rate schools, a variety of cultural events and programming, and a beautiful view around every turn. <laughs>